hello. Here I am at Pioneer, Arizona. It's an old Wild West town in Phoenix, Arizona. We're going to do a tour with all the cool guests and actors of this place. So let's check it out and have some fun. Join me. Yeah. Tom B. Stone. Hi, Tom. How are you today? Man? I'm doing great. All right, avocado. Can you tell me what you do here? Out here at Pioneer, I'm the cowboy. I like to take this rope here and do the things that cowboys do in the old west with the rope. Cool. So what's that? I like to take this rope and spin it a little bit, and sometimes I jump in and out and just like to roam around and entertain the kids and say hi to all the folks that come out to visit. Wow, can you show me? I sure can. All right, and everybody too, let's check it out. Let's go. Out here in the Old West, this is how we spin a rope. There we go, that's called a flat spin right there. It's pretty simple. We're just taking our hand right here and we're just spinning around, kind of like you're stirring a pot there. And now the fun part is when you get to be a little bit better, you get to jump inside of it. I'm going to give it a try. Yes, sir. There it is, folks. Jump inside of it. Us cowboys, we like to do fun stuff like that. Well, that was so cool. Thank you so much. Well, I had a rootin' tootin' time out here today. <laughs> a great time. All right. Well, have a good day. All right. Bye-bye. Help. I'm behind bars. No! Here I am with the Sheriff of Pioneer. Hey, how's it going? Very fine. Thank you for coming by, Avocado. Yeah, what's your name? Howard. Hey, Howard. Um, can you tell me about the Sheriff's Office here? Yeah, the Sheriff's Office was actually a replica of the one that was built originally in 1881 in Globe, Arizona. Wow. Uh, it's standing and it's like got two, two foot thick walls in here. And it's very warm in the summer, so we have, this cools everything off. Ooh. In the winter, it keeps everything warm inside. Nice. So. Well, can I have a look? Sure, you can have a look. All right, thank you. Okay. Here I am with Nicole. Hi, Nicole. Hello. Where are we here? Today we're at the dress shop. Oh. Yeah, and I'm here to pick out some dresses. Do you want to come in with me? Well, I don't know. Oh, come on. I'm sure they have something for you. We ah. sew all sorts of things in here. Oh, like what? We sew dresses and gloves, and we also make some hats and quilts. Oh. Cool. You want to come in? All right. Good. Thank you. Okay. My name is Tandy. Welcome to the dress shop here at Pioneer Village. I make dresses and skirts, bustles, quilts, and I'm going to show you a piece of what we do. We're going to go now, and this is a seam. This machine is from the 1890s. It still runs beautifully. It's all by leg power. We snip off that, and we put it in a pile, and 
why don't you have a look around? We've got a lot of machines here, a lot of dresses. Have fun. Stay on the paths and watch out for snakes. Hey, here I am with... Mike. Hey, Mike, what do you do here? I'm the carpenter out here oh. at Pioneer. And this is my carpenter shop. Cool. We got all sorts of neat tools and whatnot in here. Uh, mostly what I do around here right now is repair things. Oh. Um, we have some chairs that need fixing and, and tables. But I've got lots of interesting equipment to uh, work on. Cool. So we can... You want to take a look at some of the, some of the tools? Yeah, what are you going to show us? We have got what they call a shaving horse. Uh -huh. And it's got what you call a really funny name on it. It's called a dumb head. Oh, dumb it's head. A dumb head shaving horse. <laughs> so okay. we'll look at that. All right. And then we can look at a little saw if you want to. Sure, thank you. Okay, so this is called a shaving horse. And what it is really is a big foot operated clamp. And it holds things down. So you can hold, I can, I can hold things down. And I use what they call a draw knife. That's a draw knife to shape it into either just flatten it out if it's something that's square often here's a piece you take a square piece and start shaving it round so you need a bunch of you can turn rough out a square piece into things for handles for tools and whatnot come on start And the advantage of the foot operated clamp is it leaves my hands generally free. All I have to do is do a quick turn on a piece of wood. Whereas if I use one of the more common hand operated clamps, I constantly have to be unscrewing it and screwing it. This gives me a much better chance to just shave away and just quick movements. called a treadle lathe and it's like the treadle sewing machines I think you saw those earlier and come on. and by using this foot foot pedal down here when I get my rhythm going it spins this piece of wood and this lathe is a very old style piece of equipment had lathes like this, or not exactly like this, but they had lathes that are hand operated in the Egyptian pyramids. So slowly I'm moving around and I'm going to make this into a round part. And then as you can see down here, there's lots of fancy shapes you can put onto things. And I got one more thing we can see here real quick. I broke it earlier, so hopefully it'll keep working. Ooh. This is called a bracket saw. You can buy it out of the Sears catalog for about eight dollars. And you can use it to cut any sort of shapes and thin pieces of wood you want to cut. So you cut a nice big round there. That's the kind of thing you can't do with a regular saw. That's about it for demonstrations. So, nice to have you here today. Avocado, thanks for coming by. Hello. Hello.
Wow, that was such a great tour. Here I am with... I'm Karen. Hi, Karen. Hi, it was so great to have you come out here, Avocado. We had so much fun. Yeah. I'm really hoping your fans come out and see us soon at Pioneer Arizona Living History Museum. Yeah, it was so great. Thank you for setting it all up for me. Oh, you're the best. Anytime, Avocado. Okay, thank you and goodbye. Okay, bye. Bye, everybody. He's going potty. I better leave him alone.